everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying another fly for you, another flatch fly, and this is a variation of my hooligan crab, and I'm tying it with a tarantula brush body. Um, I got this this idea. I saw it was Daz, um, untamed tackle and flies. Uh, kind of simplifying the tying of the hooligan. I mean, it can be a bit fiddly tying a merkin on such a small hook. Um, so, as always, there will be materials listed in the description, along with a link to various social media and my Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel and uh, be eligible for future giveaways. So, I've got my hook and my vice, and this is a carp hook, right? Um, a lot of guys are using these Gamakatsu G cap and they're a Teflon coated hook. Um, this is essentially the same hook, um, it's just marketed under a different company, it's a British company that market these. Um, and they're, uh, it's an ESP Raptor, but it's the same hook. The reason being, a lot of people, a lot of people have been using fly liners for triggers. And while they do work, they can be very hard to drive home um, because they're really heavy wire. These Teflon coated carp hooks penetrate well and they're still heavy enough to deal with the trigger fish teeth. So I'm attaching my weight here. This is just an extra small dumbbell eye, right? Just make sure you've got it nice and square. Now, get that tightened in. And then, because these are Teflon coated, right, you, you must come in with some super glue. Um, a fair bit. Because um, they're very, very slick and uh, your thread will slip. I'm going to just run that up and down and I'm going to come back through the eyes to help secure them. Just give that a wee touch, just take away any excess. Now, I'm basically going to tie it as I would tie the hooligan normally. So, I've got to get a wee bunch of craft fur. And tan. Take away any of the super long stuff. Get that. I don't know. However long you want the face, the mouth parts, whatever, about a, a hook length anyway on these wee hooks. And I take it around the bend. And it's just some of any super long stuff. Just gives yourself a nice wee suggestion of some kind of claw or whatever sticking out the front. Tidy that up. I'll invert it. A couple of strands of crystal flash. Fold them around the shirt, around the thread, tie them in. Then I'll put a wee ball of dubbin. I'm using shell pink, fluorescent shell pink, ice dub, uh, whatever you like really. I like something with a wee bit of sparkle and a bit of fluorescence. Um, I think trigger fish. Um, in my experience, the flies that I've had the meat, it's always, it's almost always low flash. Um, 
in fact, I say almost always, I've, I've had them spook. I've had them spook from bright stuff, like flashy stuff. Uh, but a very little amount of flash, small amount of flash, but some fluorescence. And it seems to be what works the best, for me anyway. And it's time for the eyes. Like these are just eyes I make. Um, double dipped. We got a, a dyed black epoxy on the mono and then just clear epoxy and some glitter over it. But whatever you like, you know. Um, line them up. You can just adjust the lengths, make sure they're even. Tighten up. Separate them slightly and then tie back against that dubbing, and that fixes them in position. Right, you've got something like that, right? These sort of splayed, splayed eyes. Then, same as the standard hooligan, I'm going to get a, it's a low quality hackle. Just gives a wee suggestion of some claws, maybe something like that at the front. Nothing hyper realistic here, just a wee bit more movement, a suggestion of something. Tie back over it, get it in there. Any wee stragglers, I'll just trim them away. I'll turn it over just so I can hold that better and get in without stabbing my finger because these hooks are very, very, very sharp. And because they're small, it's very easy to do so. Right, there we go. Body. EP tarantula brush, half inch. No, one inch, sorry. Hammer it forward, fairly close turns. We get to the dumbbells, a couple of wraps. Hold that tight, and just worry the wire, just bend and break it. and secure. Just come to the front, we'll just put a, whip, a wee half hitch in and I'm going to get in about this with a brush. Brushing out any trapped fibres.
Then I'm going to give it a wee haircut on the underside. To help set that in position, I'm going to sideways, I'll coat the underside with UV resin. Use thin, that's loom thin, or, uh, you could use flow, but you need to be really quick. Just going to let that sort of soak in and set the, the stuff on the underside sticking out, so you've got this coming with a torch yeah that's it then you can come in I'm it to a kind of crabby shape. It's it should be nearly nearly fine as is. If there's a few long fibres sticking out of the front, that's fine. Just leave them. As long as you've got that crabby shape. Now you finish to fly off. We're going to take three fly enhancer legs. These are gold and black, a gold sand black, I think the colour is. Um, these are the legs I use I used on the original, but you can obviously adjust them to suit yourself. I like this colour. Cut them in half, save the one set for the next fly. And on the top of the shank here, right behind the hook eye, cut the wraps there. Get them positioned three on either side, pull them back. Tie over them. You can just use your whip finish to cover them up and build a nice tiny wee head. Two whip finishes. Always two. You can just place your turns there just to build a nice a nice finish. Trim that, then you can get ready to trim the rubber legs. Just take them all. Now, you've got to make them short enough that they don't tangle. And I find just about a gap, a hook gap beyond the, the back of the hook is sort of the limit. And they'll stick up nicely. And they swing really, they wave enticingly in the current. It's, it's a really, really good effect that you get with tying the legs like that. So there you go. That's uh, the brush fly hooligan, or the brush, the brush crab hooligan, hooligan crab, I should say. Um, really, really effective crab pattern. Uh, quicker to tie than the American style, obviously, um, and well worth sticking in your box. Uh, they work for a lot of species, not just trigger fish. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If it was, please remember to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up below. Take lines guys, bye!